now after 35 days by this time you will now have become expert in what should be given to your baby and uh, now that your baby is uh, accustomed to uh, outside food i would suggest that uh, you upgrade the food and add more nutrition um i have uh, given the list of nutrition here uh, uh i uh, these are the list of nutrients if you want to know these are the two page nutrients the total number of nutrients amounted to 42 nutrients when i counted it but you don't need to be confused so much as uh, i'll be giving you the names of the top 10 foods top 5 foods for the brain development okay so here we go now the nutrients required specially for brain development are uh, protein fats folate omega 3 glucose fiber seventh is dha and ara as i already mentioned now here it is written dha and ara is required 10 to 12 mg for babies of 6 to 24 months okay dha and ara is required in 10 to 12 mg for babies till they turn to 2 years dha and ara is there in walnuts mustard seeds mustard oil olive oil flax seeds fenugreek that is methi seeds canola oil soya bean kidney beans eggs uh, yeah and one more thing i'd like to mention here is here different oils are mentioned like mustard oil olive oil canola oil i have a dedicated video for the which kind of oil should be used for your baby food if you have not seen my video or if you are new to my channel i'll uh, paste the link below in the description box do watch it uh, okay now here comes the top 10 brain foods top 10 brain food brain foods here i have mentioned eight because ninth and tenth were non veg that is salmon fish and meat or something i i have not mentioned it uh, since we are pure vegetarian i did not mention that first is eggs we are not vegetarian also we are eggitarian sorry so i mean we don't uh, eat too much eggs but for my son i thought i should be giving the eggs second is peanut or peanut butter third is whole grains whole grains i have already said the uh, the uh, rotis that you make from your wheat flour is not a whole flour try to use whole flour because the wheat flour wheat germ and uh, wheat bran is removed so it's better that you use whole grains uh, whole grains uh, is good for uh, the overall health a uh, fourth is oats oatmeal fifth is berries that is strawberries cherries blueberries blackberries sixth is beans that is kidney beans rajma we say seventh is colorful veggies that is tomato potato pumpkin carrots spinach and eighth is milk and yogurt these are the top 10 brain foods okay now top 10 uh, brain foods according to the baby center i am going to mention it baby center is a very famous website um you might be knowing top 10 foods as per the baby center first is broccoli avocado third is prunes or plums we say uh, fourth is mandarin oranges fifth is blueberries sixth is tuwar dal that is the lentils that you use uh, seventh is yogurt and 8 9 10 was again non veg so i did not mention it okay now that your child is very much used to the outside food now you can think upon giving all the the whole uh, the balanced diet that we usually take uh, so i have categorized the food into four uh, parts that is vegetables fruits cereals and pulses now uh, vegetables i have mentioned uh, these are the things that we can give to the infant a uh, carrot palak that is spinach tomato potatoes sweet potatoes broccoli it also has iron spinach also has iron spinach is a top 10 one of the top 10 broccoli is again a top 10 food as per the baby center broccoli has fiber folate calcium seventh is cauliflower ninth is 
uh, green leafy vegetables that is kale chard spinach collard uh, very good vegetables if you get in your local market or from the uh, godrej nature's basket if you have visited the website uh, these leafy vegetables i have written here uh, includes vitamin a c e k folate calcium iron magnesium potassium fiber and they are good for heart heart tenth is pumpkin okay this was a vegetables fruits that we can give to a small infant is apple or apple sauce banana pear strawberry kiwi avocado avocado again is a top 10 baby cent, uh, food as per the baby center website uh, prunes plums or dried plums um, now the dried plums here that you need to take care of that that is available in the market is you need to check whether they are dried with the naturally or with the help of a sulfur so you do not have to buy the prunes that are dried with the help of a sulfur only naturally dried prunes needs to be consumed uh and prunes also removes a constipation problem if your child has uh avocado has it's it's called a uh, very good fruit it includes almost all the nutrients so if possible do uh, do provide uh, the fully ripened avocado to your children uh eighth is mandarin oranges again it's a top 10 food as per the bb center and ninth is blueberries again a top 10 blueberries contain so many antioxidants they are good for eyes brain urinary tract and tenth is raspberry so i have mentioned an amount also here yeah. uh, so these this these were fruits uh, vegetables fruits and now come cereals uh, cereals have the rice you can give brown rice it has protein vitamin calcium starch iron second is cereals is suji third is ragi that is millet uh, finger millet i mean bajra millet again jowar oats wheat and barley now here i have mentioned the months also oats you need to give after 8 months wheat generally we don't uh, uh, give it wheat to the young child because it has gluten so wheat you can introduce after 8 8 months make sure your child is not allergic and barley that is jow that we say jow nu pani that is also good for uh, health okay so this was cereals and next is uh, pulses legumes and pulses uh, here i have written uh, tuwar dal uh, moong dal okay this is these are the vitamins and nutrients written here chickpeas that is brown chana broken wheat that is dalia kidney beans that is rajma green gram flax seeds it has as i said fiber omega 3 and lignans lignans is uh, nothing but very close to dha and ara flax seeds need to be given in finely ground form uh, since whole flax seeds are not uh, easily digestible um okay so flax seeds also after 7 to 8 months only 3 teaspoon per day as i mentioned i'll mention the amount quantity that needs to be given in the entire day the flax seed powder should not be more than 3 teaspoons okay flax seed is a natural laxative and if you are using flax seeds oil it cannot be used for cooking you can just put the flax seeds oil above the uh, salads or uh, the baby food because if cooked flax seed oil loses its nutrients okay flax seeds are um not uh, whole flax seeds are not as healthy as ground flax seed uh, as whole seeds may not break down enough in the digestive system okay as i said previously uh, okay so this was uh, uh, vegetables fruits uh, cereals and pulses here i have mentioned other items that you can uh, uh, include is ceralac yogurt dry fruits dry fruits powder uh, make sure you uh, introduce uh, after 8 months uh, in the powdered form and also you ask your doctor and please check if your child is not having any allergies coconut water uh, here i have mentioned all the nutrients you can just take a screenshot coconut milk 
but it should be unsweetened and without preservatives wheat jam this is a brand krishnal brand wheat jam this you can give after 8 months if you are not having a whole wheat flour you can add a uh, wheat jam and uh, wheat bran while making your um, baby's chapati or uh, porridge anything uh, graham crackers available in us if it is available you can uh, give as a snack quinoa uh, again quinoa you can buy from godrej nature basket the site that i uh, preferred Uh, you know, has to be given after eight months. Multi-grain crackers. It's your choice. Totally your choice. This is just a list, and I have not given crackers to my child because it were not available. Um, Cheerios again, a breakfast item, but it, only if it is available, it's not necessary. Cheese. You can give ricotta, cheddar, or cottage cheese after eight months and use the cheese that is made from the pasteurized milk only. Twelfth is peanuts or peanut butter and. Thirteenth is wheat bran, peanuts. So you make sure it's finely ground, and only then it is given. Or please check for the allergies. My child did not have any food allergy, so I was able to you give it to him. Please check out for the peanuts uh, allergies if you are giving this. Okay, then it is spices and herbs. Spices and uh, herbs. Uh, it's okay if you give in a very small quantity like you can give haldi jeera powder uh, rai if you are uh, uh, using in a very small quantity chili powder or pepper you make sure you are introducing only after 18 months green chilies also only after 18 months ginger adu garlic lesson hing tulsi thyme oregano coriander salt coriander salt and sugar i would really like to mention here salt and sugar please 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 do not use it before one year before your child is of one year salt and sugar are extremely extremely harmful i'll tell you why see sugar the sugar that is that you give to your child interferes with the hormones in your body that regulate hunger and satiety this can lead to increased calorie intake and weight gain it also harms metabolism which can lead to increased insulin and fat storage so sugar uh, avoid giving sugar you can give natural uh, sweeteners like you can give dry dates powder uh, uh, or you can use some natural sugar if it is available into the market you can give date sugar palm sugar or any other natural sugar as far as possible then 14th is a brown flaxseed powder a uh, store here i have written the storage instructions storing is as important so that they do not you do not give spoiled food to your child store quinoa in an airtight container in a refrigerator uh, since it's a pre milled grain store wheat germ in airtight container and in refrigerator store flaxseed powder in refrigerator ceralac Okay, here I mentioned only about the flaxseed that we have already seen. Um, okay, oats. About the oats, I would like to say steel cut oats are slightly healthier and nutritious than the rolled oats. Uh, steel cut oats retain most of the nutrients as they are not highly processed, but they take eleven to twenty five minutes longer to cook. Steel cut oats. Steel cut oats are also called pinhead oatmeal. in uk okay so uh, steel cut oats are slightly healthier than the rolled oats you can use rolled oats also but if you are um, taking care of your child's health why not use the best okay some more tips i will be uh, giving you and after that i'll give you a list of the exotic foods you can um, try that uh, first is baby needs one protein rich food at each meal please take care of that baby needs one protein rich food at each meal that is if you are giving five meals or four meals in each meal should contain one protein rich food example the yogurt or the uh, buttermilk that you give or the lentils or the dairy produce or the meat if you are non vegetarian uh, vegetarian sorry fruit juice should be diluted that is one part juice and 10 part water no salt to the baby as i said salt and sugar very harmful kidneys of the baby can't cope up with the salt 
okay one more thing this would be you would find slightly uh you know opposite to what uh, elders say no honey before one year honey contains a bacteria that is toxic to babies in their science now you would say the first day that baby is born as a shagun we give them honey no please don't give honey before one year it contains bacteria that is toxic to the baby's intestine no artificial sugar as i said no tea and coffee because tea and coffee has tannin uh, which prevents um from absorbing iron in the food iron is a very important nutrient for a child's brain please don't give them tea and coffee unless and until very much necessary and uh, okay wheat and uh, oats you can give after 8 months spices and uh, herbs you can give after 8 months cow's milk it's uh, said to give after 1 year vegetable stock if you are giving don't add spices and herbs till eight months ghee and butter you can ask doctor soya bean you have to give after one year please make note soya bean was mentioned in uh, there um, but you give you have to give it only after one year groundnuts again i said to take care if you are introducing peanuts groundnuts after one year uh okay Here it is written: vegetarian diet has a scarce vitamin B six, B twelve, D, iron, protein, and calcium. So make sure you are giving food that includes uh, this. Babies in the age range of seven to twelve months need iron as one milligram per day. Breast feeds af breast feed after starting solid six to eight times a day. DHA that a child needs is ten to twelve milligram per day. protein as per the weight required for example if your child is 8 kgs a child child needs 8 g of protein during a day 1 g protein per kg of the body weight per day this is the key okay now the list of exclusive foods why i call them exclusive is because it is over and above the normal things that we give our infant so i just call it exclusive it there is nothing exclusive you can just make a special uh, food list that you generally don't consume for example first is quinoa grains you might not be consuming quinoa in your regular diet but now please introduce it because it is very much uh, you know uh, healthy and it is gluten free so introduce quinoa after 8 months here i have mentioned the months also after that only introduce that so quinoa grains needs to be uh, introduced after 8 months ragi flour is gluten free after 7 months oats rolled oats or processed or uh porridge oats that are gluten free again 8 months after 8 months brown flax seeds powder they are too gluten free after 7 months barley water after 7 months bajra that is millet porridge 7 months dalia or you can say broken wheat after 8 months semolina or suji upma after 7 months jowar powder that is sorghum powder after 8 months brown rice after 7 months nutmeg powder after 8 months dry fruits powder after 8 months wheat germ after 8 months wheat bran after 8 months wheat germ and wheat bran are available in a powdered form uh, in a, uh, in packed from online i used to buy it from amazon oat bran powder after 8 months sprouted beans powder uh, after 7 months chia seeds after 8 months amaranth seeds um after 8 months maybe and swarna prash Okay, seeds are very easily digestible, so don't worry about the seeds. Again, please note that sweet basil seeds, that is uh, called takmari, are uh, are different than the shia seeds. So please do not get confused in that. Although they resemble, they are same. They look same, but they are different. Uh, I have also uh, mentioned uh, the nutrients contained in these uh, seeds. You can just take a screenshot of it. Uh, shia seeds contains omega three fatty acids, antioxidants, fiber, protein. Flax seeds again contains omega three, vitamin B one, antioxidants, amaranth. It is called Ramdan in Hindi means God's own grain. It is called God's own grain because it has almost all the vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, pain reliever, immune system, immune system also strengthens with it. Wheat bran. and uh, wheat germ here it contains uh, 1.5 grams unsaturated fat carbohydrates protein dietary fiber sugar and calories um, this is a content for 2 tablespoon 
okay so this was all about the uh, infant nutrition if you have any queries please do let me know in the description i mean in the comments uh, section below i'm sure you'll be having many queries um, please take this video only as a suggestion you as a mother know the best for your child so please uh, you can ask me any questions uh, hope you like the video and uh, hope this video helps a little uh, to the uh, new moms and uh, thanks for watching if you like my videos do subscribe comment below do press a like button and also do not forget to press the bell button so that you do not miss upon any of the videos thanks for watching bye